Today, as we continue with looking at how the different Gospels describe the story of the feeding of the 5,000, today we're looking in Luke's Gospel, in which we find this episode in chapter 9 and verses 10 through 17. And our verse of the day is Luke 9, verse 16, which says, And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. Uh, I touched on this a little bit earlier this week, but again, you see this repeated emphasis on he blessed and broke and gave. Blessed and broke and gave. And when you think about the life and ministry of Jesus, uh, this is what he's doing all the time. Uh, he's blessing. He's giving thanks for God's provision, which is a wonderful thing for you and I to do all the time. Uh, not to take our next breath for granted, not to take food for granted, not to take shelter or clean water for granted. We can look around in the country and around the world right now, and you see places like Jackson, Mississippi, uh, which don't have safe, drinkable water. Uh, and you look at places suffering drought, uh, where you can't water crops, you see people who have lost their homes as entire communities have been destroyed in wildfires. You never should take the blessings of life for granted. And so Jesus, he takes the, the bread and the fish and he blesses them. Uh, and when Jesus takes the little that we have and adds his blessing, uh, often things can multiply. You think of the story of Elijah the prophet and how the widow, he encouraged her to give and to share of the last that she had and how with the blessing of the man of God, uh, she never ran out of oil or grain. So he blessed and he broke. Uh, and oftentimes it's in breaking something. Uh, it's in dividing it. It's in sharing it that God's blessing comes. Uh, have you ever thought about how God's blessing comes in the broken places, uh, in our broken places emotionally, our broken places relationally? Uh, sometimes even when we have physical things break, which is a pain, um, that, that God's blessing can come even in those moments. And then again, Jesus blessed, he broke, and he gave. And what he gave was set before everyone. Uh, and how generous God is, as we see in this feeding of the 5,000, that God wants to make sure that everyone has enough. And this is part of having an abundance mentality rather than a scarcity mentality. Recognizing, as a preacher I recently heard said, uh, it's not you or me, it's you and me. And that's what we see so much in the ministry of Jesus and certainly in the feeding of the 5,000 in Luke's gospel.